Man, it's hot out here. It is absolutely toasty in the backyard today, but still wanted to take some time to share a new template with you that I published. I barely built for myself uh, for my own blog over at Codings for Losers, and now I wanted to publish it and share it with you. And basically what it does is I was, I was kind of concerned because I felt like the meta tags, the meta titles and descriptions that I had assigned to my posts over at Codings for Losers weren't really jiving with necessarily how people were reaching the site and what uh, kind of organic search keywords were driving traffic to my pages. So I felt like it was time to kind of refresh my meta titles and descriptions, line them up more with, um, you know, kind of the, the search intent that's sending traffic to my blog um, and kind of realign and rewrite those where I could. So I built this little template. It basically combines data from Google Search Console, which pulls your search keywords and impressions, click-through rate, all that good stuff for your search keywords. Um, and also Screaming Frog, which uh, I'm sure you, you love and use. Um, it allows you to quickly export all of the titles and meta descriptions, word counts, etc., for all of the pages on your site. So it basically merges a Google Search Console report with all of your search data and um, a Screaming Frog export all of your titles and meta descriptions. Man, it's hot out here. And allows you to pick out what are opportunities to rewrite your meta tags. Either um, pages where your URL, uh, your title or description are too long to be read in Google, or pages where uh, the title does not contain the top keyword that it's ranking for. So you're potentially missing out on traffic because they don't see what they're searching for uh, in either your title or your description. Um, and the quick fix there is just writing it into your description or title, meta title. So let's go through the setup here. Uh, that's really the output, is a simple list of URLs and suggestions to, uh, to dig into when rewriting your, your meta tags. So to set it up, you need to do two things. Um, well, a little more than two things, but we'll go through them. So first is you go to the API setup tab and you set up the Google Search Console API for this sheet. It basically involves going into the script editor and finding, finding some data points and, and turning some buttons. But it walks you through exactly how to do that. So that's the API setup piece. Once you have that uh, live, you can go into Search Console, select your, pull in your sites, following the menu here. It's Get Search Console Sites in the Rank Tank Pro menu. That will pull in all of the sites you have access to and allow you to, uh, which we'll do in a second, pull data from Search Console. So you select a site, select a date range you want to look at, let's say 90 days here. And then if we pull in Search Console data, it'll say Running Script at the top. So now that that, that uh, notice disappeared, uh, we'll know that Google Search Console data has pulled in. And the last step to run here is to upload your CSV export from Screaming Frog uh, into your drive somewhere, some, any drive folder, and just drop in the file name of what this Screaming Frog title, the file is, is titled. So I titled mine Codings for Losers underscore Screaming Frog dot CSV. Um, just some title that's unique. And basically what this will do is if you select Rank Tank Pro Import Screaming Frog data, it will actually pull in that CSV into your sheet here. So you never have to crack open the CSV, copy and paste specific columns. All it will do is directly pull in the URL, title, title length, meta description, uh, meta description length and word count from your Screaming Frog export. Uh, I personally, I love, I love this feature because it completely allows me to not crack open CSV files and copy and paste data, which I think is really just a tremendous waste of time. So basically that's all. Like once you have Google Search Console data in here, you have Screaming Frog data imported. Um, the aggregated data tab will pull all of it together. It'll merge your URLs, your metas, um, and then from Search Console, your top keyword, 
the number of impressions on that top keyword. Um, and then some logic on is your title or description too long? Is it missing the top keyword uh, from either the title or description? So this aggregated data tab, think of it as like your database of uh, meta titles and descriptions and what to do. Um, and then on this meta tags for a rewrite tab, you'll have two specific actionable steps. Um, one with titles or metas, meta descriptions that are too long. Um, and another bucket, like I showed you before, where these pages are missing from the description or title the top keyword that they're ranking for. So that's really all there is to it. Um, you blend two data sets and come up with some specific, you know, actionable next steps to do to rewrite your, your meta descriptions or titles. So hope you enjoy it. It's super hot out here, so I'm going to get inside. And uh, you can find all of this good stuff at Coding is for Losers. Take care.